CR Lawrence is the worldwide leading supplier for specialist glass and glazing products and architectural glass hardware. I'm joined by Simon Bucock, Managing Director. Hello, Simon. Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to The Fit Show. Thank you. I've just arrived. It's very busy and buoyant. It is very busy and stand looks very impressive, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, it's a new design for this year. We've used it on a few shows that we've done earlier on in the year and uh, I think it does a good job of presenting the, the wide range of products that we offer. So it's something we're going to stick to using for the next probably 12 months or so. Now, first off, for those that don't know what CRL do, just give us an overview of the company and what you produce. Well, CR Lawrence is, a, is, like you said before, is one of the world's leading architectural hardware suppliers to the glass industry, as well as supplying a massive range of other glass and glazing products that support and help glazers and installers, hence why we're at this Fit Show exhibition. Um, we're a combination of a manufacturer and a sourcer of products, and we have 40 locations around the world, predominantly in North America, which is where the business uh, originated in Los Angeles. Um, but we are a, effectively a stockist and distributor to the market. Okay, so you've been around for quite a while then? Uh, we have in many different forms. Originally the business was developed in Los Angeles in the early 60s, so the business itself is just over 50 years. But the business that uh, CR Lawrence acquired here in the UK was a formerly company called Ebor, um, was a, would be in its 30th year now. So yeah, there's plenty of experience in the US and also here in Europe. Now you are actually celebrating five years of being established in UK and Europe, aren't you? That's right. Yeah, we uh, five years ago, CL Lawrence didn't really exist in in the in, the U, in Europe and uh, outside of the US, um, and we've come a long way in five years. CL Lawrence acquired Ebor, but since then we've gone on through quite a, an aggressive expansion plan. We've grown our business a lot in the UK, but we've also expanded into Germany, Scandinavia, and most recently France as well. Wow, so a truly global co company. Then. Yeah, yeah, we have we have we also have facilities in Australia, and we do a lot of business in the Middle East. So I don't know where it will all end, but we're, we're, we're most places nowadays. You definitely seem to be going in the right direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're happy. We're happy. <laughs> we're very happy with that. Yeah. So, which products will you be showing off here this weekend? Uh, we've got we've got a because we have such a big product line. We have uh, technically we have over sixty thousand products in our in our in our line that we offer to our customers, but that's too much to focus on. Uh, at any time, with, whether it be through a catalogue or at an exhibition. Here, because of the nature of the exhibition, which is designed to attract installers and um, win, you know, window installers, glaziers, we brought along a selection of products which they, we think will appeal to them, so the daily consumables they'll use when they're doing an installation. But we've also brought along a taste of a few other products which we think might be of uh, interest to them, like our uh, CL Lawrence developed and patented taper lock system, which is a frameless glass balustrade system. Uh, makes it makes installing glass balustrades very simple and conforms to all the British standards as well as other standards around the world. And we brought just a, an array of other installation uh, equipment that any installer would use when they're out on site. We're trying to give the, the, the impression that we've got those products there available for you. You're a large company as we have established and you have a lot of employees and I get the impression it's quite important for you to be customer facing as well. Yeah, very much so. Um, we, we still uh, present our products face to face through an outside sales team, an external sales team. That's the same all over the world. But more and more the work that we do now is behind the scenes because in order to be able to give the levels of customer service that we want to do, we have to have um, the right structure to be able to source the product, uh, manufacture the product, stock the product, replenish your stocks and then service the customers once they decide to contact you, whether it be by phone or, or, or whatever method they choose. So we, we like to respond immediately, which means you need to have people available. We like to respond in person wherever we can, uh, although we facilitate things like web sales and web orders as well. Um, and then once the, product, once the uh, order's been placed or a quote has been con converted into an order, we want to be able to pull that product and ship it to the customer without any delay. So consequently, through expansion and, uh, and, and acquisitions over the years, the business has grown to being 1,800 employees currently that operate from around 40 locations uh, around the world. And in the UK, we are approaching 60 employees, but we have another 20 or 30 in Europe now as we continue to develop in the same way. So world domination then? Well, we, <laughs> there, there, I think we've caused a bit of a reaction in the market when we came to the UK five years ago because we, we have big plans. You know, we've, there's been big investments made by the company um, because they believe in 
uh, the people that they bought with the that came along with the acquisition, but also in the potential of the British market, but all and the European market. And with the product line that currently exists uh, and the experience and the commitment of the people that we have, there's no reason why we can't go on growing and growing. And, and that's that's the ambitions we have. This is day one, and in the first uh, first few hours, we were inundated with inquiries at a level that we don't see at most exhibitions. So, in you know, fairness to the the organisers of the fit show, they've done a very good job. And when you're exhibiting, um, you know, it's, it's not in, you know, it's relatively uh, costly exercise to exhibit at any exhibition, and you have to put a lot of time and effort into your preparation. It's, it's nice when you get there, you actually get something back. Um, sometimes I think exhibi exhibition organisers encourage you to try and bring your customers to the show. But really, from an, from an exhibitor's point of view, you want to go to the show and have them bring the customers to you. And they've, they've done that. So I you know, take my hat off to the Fit Show organisers. Well, you pride yourself on customer service. If anyone out there is interested in getting in touch with you guys who maybe couldn't come this weekend, just give you a Well, I, again, they'll, they'll, if they try and contact us, they'll see the kind of customer service that we, that we try to offer to all of our customers at all times. So by all means, you just contact us, whether it's through our free phone number, our, our regular landline, online, via email, we'll respond immediately. That's one of our mantras. We want to respond to customers immediately. Well, I have a feeling we'll be seeing a lot of CR Lawrence in the future, but the best of luck for this weekend. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you.